A program in the Twin Cities is using hockey to help wounded veterans. It's aimed at building camaraderie, a sense of community. Kylie Burst live at F45 training in Minneapolis learning about the Warrior Workout. Kylie. Hey, Jason. Okay, normally when we're up early and we're kind of showing you what's happening, a lot of times we'll bring people in, give you a little preview. No, this class is already happening right now. It starts at 530. We are here with Adam from F45. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing really good, although I'm feeling a little bit lazy looking at what's happening behind us. Tell us what F45 is because it's, it's new to the Twin Cities and it's relatively new to the states too. That's right. Yeah, we're the first one in Minneapolis and um, it's a functional training concept. So it was developed by a group of professional athletes to bring the techniques that high-end athletes are using and made more accessible to a wider audience. So we're using a variety of resistance, cardio, um, plyometrics, very functional movements. And I know that you guys, I mean, you're here and you're kind of working on these workouts, but you're also making a connection with Wounded Warriors here as well. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I have a background in hockey. One of my partners in this business is also uh, a Minnesota hockey player, also served in the military. And so a big priority of ours is supporting the military community. Uh, so one of the first things we did, we reach out to uh, the Minnesota Warriors, the Hendrickson Foundation, uh, so we can work with them to bring another team training environment where they can get that camaraderie, uh, support that connection between healthy body, healthy mind, uh, and a fun team environment. So. And we have Mike here with us from the Hendrickson Foundation here as well. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing great. Tell me a little bit about how you guys got involved, how you guys got in touch with each other. Uh, well, F45 was, uh, again, their hockey background, yeah. so they wanted to pair up with the Hendrickson Foundation, the Wounded Warriors, and uh, their support's going to be fantastic. Uh, the Warriors, you know, like you said, with structure, um, the workout is going to be fantastic. Tell us a little bit about the Hendrickson Foundation. What do you guys do in the community? Uh, the Hendrickson Foundation, we're involved with all disabled hockey in the state of Minnesota, um, as well as USA Hockey. Um, so we have sled hockey, the Wounded Warriors, and then the, uh, sorry, special hockey as well. Um, so we support all those teams. You do so much in the community, and I know that you guys have a big event coming up this Saturday that's kind of bringing the two together. Tell me what's happening. So Saturday, we're going to bring in a mix of the Minnesota Hockey uh, or the Minnesota Warriors uh, teammates, as well as some of our friends, uh, current and former hockey players. Bring everybody together. We're going to do a workout together. Just have a good time, have some fun. Uh, the idea is that we introduce this concept to the Warriors uh, that hopefully becomes an ongoing relationship that we can continue to kind of get them in here, promote that that healthy lifestyle, building healthy bodies. So. And I know that you know when we're talking about the Wounded Warriors, a lot of these are disabled vets. Are you guys able to kind of structure the workout so that every person can do it no matter what their ability is? Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of one of the things that really drew me to the concept uh, initially is how adaptable it is uh, and that it's accessible to a huge group of people. Um, there are also other, you know, kind of adaptive uh, F45 studios around the world working with people with different disabilities. So we can modify everything. We can make it uh, very accessible uh, and let everybody kind of achieve results on their own level. So. Mike, do you think this is something that everyone would be interested in? Of course, yeah. I'm anxious to give it a try. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's going to be tough and a challenge, but like you said, being adaptive, that's very important for everybody. Yeah, and so have you heard from some of the people what they're looking forward to? I mean, these are athletes, so they, they want to work out and they want to get their bodies healthy. Yeah, I, I think uh, the big thing is, again, being adaptive to them. Um, they have such a variety of workouts going on. So I, I think, uh, like I say, I'm anxious to give it a whirl. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Mike, Adam, thanks for getting up earlier. I guess you're always up kind of this early. Yeah, this is it. But really cool program, and that'll be on Saturday, guys. Looks intense, Kylie. I don't know. Yeah, really intense. But the good news is you don't seem to do any one move for too long. So that might help. Nice. You just fight through it and then you're set, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. And they're only 45 minutes, so you're over pretty quickly. That's, you, That's you're so not making hard. it sound any better. <laughs> only 45, 45 minutes. My core is hurting just watching the guy behind you right now, Kylie. That guy's working on he, Yeah, he was, there's a lot happening here. That's for sure. <laughs> kudos to Kylie for concentrating during that interview yeah. with all the yelling and all the, the beeping and all this Jumping stuff. Around. Sweating, grunting. Yeah. 45 minutes of that? Yeah. You can do it, Matt. That's like I, that. I uh, do 50. <laughs> I do that 20? boot camp on. Uh -huh. yeah. How long is that? It's about 45. Ooh. No, Ooh. thank you. No. I mean, this you. physique doesn't just happen, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Real testimonial for boot camp. Hard work. <laughs>
<laughs> Whatever, you're looking great. Don't even don't even make fun of yourself. This weekend, you can sweat it out at a local gym to help wounded warriors. A former hockey player opened a studio called F45 in Minneapolis. It's teaming up with the Minnesota Warriors and Hendrickson Foundation to help inspire wounded veterans. Kylie Burris visited the gym to learn more about the event. Hey, good morning. We're here at F45 Gym where the workout already in full swing. Oh, looks like they're taking a little bit of a break right now. But we've got Adam here with us from F45. Tell us a little bit about what this is because it's kind of new to the Twin Cities and the United States in general, too. That's right. Yeah, we're the first one in Minneapolis. And um, it's a functional training concept. It was developed by a group of professional athletes um, designed to bring the techniques that high end athletes are using uh, to a more, uh, to an accessible audience, to a wider audience. Uh, we use everything from plyometric strength, cardio, uh, all very functional movements that kind of help bring you the most well-rounded workout. You guys haven't even been open for two months yet, but what's really impressive is you've already kind of found that charitable component that you wanted to jump on. Can you tell me a little bit about what that is, how that connection was made? Sure, yeah. That's, um, uh, we're working with the Hendrickson Foundation and the Minnesota Warriors. Uh, I've got a hockey background. The Minnesota Warriors are a group of uh, disabled veterans that are playing hockey. Uh, one of my partners in this business is also a Minnesota hockey player, former military, and establishing that relationship with the military community was really important to us. So. Uh, working with the Minnesota Warriors is our kind of first step in that direction to offer that team training, that camaraderie, that group environment that helps support the healthy body and healthy minds. And we have Mike with us here from the Hendrickson Foundation. So tell me a little bit about what you guys do, why you wanted to be involved with a group like this. Uh, well, we work with all disabled athletes in the state. Uh, the Wounded Warriors, obviously, with seven teams across the state, a um, big part of what we do. So uh, we're there to help them along with uh, F45 with the training aspect. Like you said, team, it's very important. Um, so we're there to support that uh, however we can. And I know that Saturday you guys have your kind of first big event coming up with them? Yeah, so we're bringing a, a group of uh, the Minnesota Warrior hockey players as well as some of our friends, former, current hockey players, bringing everybody together. We're going to do a big workout on Saturday, have a bunch of fun, just kind of get that, that team environment, that camaraderie going, establish that relationship, and um, you know, hopefully it's something that we can continue to do going forward. Absolutely. And th this looks like something the guys will want to do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm anxious to get out there and give it a try. Wonderful. Well, I know that's going to be happening on Saturday, but you guys are offering workouts just about every morning, too. Yeah. So six, uh, six times a day, we're offering workouts, so we're, we're always available. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us this morning, guys. All right. Thanks, Kylie.